Today's presentation is entitled Laze Aesthetics, which is basically the practical use of lasers in dentistry. And you know, I've been using lasers since 1995, and I was primarily driven toward lasers based on smile design and aesthetics. You know, I was using electrosurge at the time to recontour tissue, and I didn't have the predictability that, that I wanted. Also, we had patient discomfort postoperatively, and so when lasers really started to hit the, the soft tissue world in the mid 90s, and that gave me an opportunity to now have a more predictable way to alter tissues, what I call gingival plastic surgery, as part of the smile design process. So, coming from a cosmetic background, lasers just, I mean, it was ideal to come into this cosmetic realm. So we're going to talk about lasers, and not all lasers, but we certainly want to understand what's available and what we can do in dentistry. You know, we know that the general public loves the word laser, you know, whether it's laser skin resurfacing, uh, laser hair removal, laser tattoo removal, uh, whatever it can be done, if it can be done with lasers, it's better. And the thing we haven't seen a lot in the past was lasers in dentistry. And what's interesting is the ADA did a survey and they asked, and this is general public, this is not to dentists, but to the general public, is it important that your dentist has a laser? Remember, their esthetician has a laser, their dermatologist has a laser, the plastic surgeon has a laser, the tattoo parlor has, everyone has a laser. So it's important that you're for, if your dentist has a laser. Well, what's interesting is 31% of adults consider it very important that a dentist has a laser, very. 30